Hi friends, so this is kind of exciting. We are here to celebrate Moira's 1000 subbies uh, YouTube celebration. So she is such a great lady and there's something about her voice that is like the most soothing voice in the history of time. Anywho, so we are to do some kind of a holiday celebration, that kind of thing as part of this. So we just had 4th of July, so I thought I would scrapbook a 4th of July photo and that would be fun. Now on her channel, which I'll have linked below, she's going to have all of her information. And I'll, I also have links of everybody else that is involved in this collab. But let's see, the theme can be holiday, vacation, staycation. I decided to do the 4th of July. So I'm going to pull out stuff with stars and that kind of thing. But, you know, I just got done scrapbooking some red and blue, like really bold things. So I don't know if I'm going to do as typical 4th of July. We'll see how that goes. Anywho, so let's see, what does she have on here? Now she's going to have a giveaway on her channel. So she's going to give away the June uh, Spiegel Mom Scrap Sequins Mix. Uh, Vicky Booten 6x8 Paper Pad, Nuvo Drops, which, let's see, Nuvo Drops, um, SCT Sampler, which was sponsored, and a fantastic class from Sarah Scraps, which was also sponsored. So that is beyond awesome that she's going to have a giveaway, but regardless, you get to enjoy lots of fun scrapbooking. Now, the kit I pulled is from, it is called Chill, I believe. And it is from the Not Just Boy for Boys Kit Club. I'm on the design team there, but this was a kit. I keep moving around because the branding strips are in different places. It was a kit that I chose to buy separately from design team goodies that were sent to me because it is awesome. And this is a July 2020 kit. And it has a ton of bro and coat in it. So like, I really liked these stars for 4th of July. Thinking about bringing in some of this really great yellow. This is a bow bunny paper and they did have a wood grain and i'm like okay yeah background done so that's what that big thought process was now this kit also has some of these really great wood veneer stars so i like the idea of including a bunch of wood grain stars in there um i mean it actually has these really great buttons not really the star vibe i'm trying for but we'll see it does have some blue pieces i'm trying to stick to the blue and red um so like that says totally legit. So we'll see what I'm getting there. So we have that. I've got a blue alpha that came with it that are from Pink Fresh. We know that's awesome. I have these full 12 by 12 sticker sheet from Bro & Co. So I know I can do like rad, awesome. Oh yeah is great. There's stars in there and then, you know, little words and then the stars again are great and easy. Even though I know it's supposed to be about, you know, gamers and all that kind of stuff, this is working. I like legit as well. I just don't know if that's 4th of July enough. Okay, let's see. Oh, and also I have a set of enamel dots that have the blues and the reds, so that will work. Now this is a photo I'm going to use right here. This is my son and his girlfriend, and we were at her house to celebrate the 4th of July with, I mean, a really small group, but her... The lake she lives on, um, a bunch of the neighbors do fireworks, so we got to enjoy that and have a cookout, all that kind of stuff. So, and cookout reminds me of Big Gretch. If any of you guys know what I'm talking about, it's hilarious. Anywho, it's about our governor. Um, so I am going to get a better plan. Oh, and then I'm going to combine this with off the board because that was one of the requests she had as well, is that you go ahead and combine her celebration along with uh, the off the board series or she had another series you could do, but I'm gonna use off the board because I'm really involved in that. And I liked this piece right here. Now this is tons of patterns and bold stuff and all kinds of fun stuff going on. And I thought that would be kind of a fun place to go with this. So I'll probably just leave that on my desk next to me while I'm crafting until I get to the point that it's no longer necessary for you to see that it looks kind of like it. All right, so I'm gonna get cutting a couple pieces. I'm gonna cut my pattern piece here, whatever my secondary piece is that I'll use here. You know, I have some black trim. Ooh, look at this for a secondary piece. I've got this here. So I'll probably put that little piece there and yeah, figure out what goodies I actually wanna use and I'll be right back. 
All right, so what I did is I went ahead and pulled all kinds of die cuts that might be able to work, and I have them up there. I punched out a bunch of stars out of the paper with a small punch, and I triple matted, one, two, three. Yeah, I triple matted my photo and just placed it on a little bit wonky, and that's just gonna be kinda about there. So let's get that on, and the idea that I have much like this layout here, is that I'm just gonna really, really build it out. So, what I mean by that is I am kind of looking for kind of what we used to call back in the day, like a sticker sneeze, but it's gonna be like a star explosion kind of a thing. I also came up with a title, which is gonna be young and free. I just gotta find the and word from somewhere. Now, when I went ahead and put this piece of pattern paper down, I had a skinny strip I put of the teal. This is a border sticker from the sticker sheet, but I didn't have, oh, it wasn't long enough. That, that's the dealio. So what I thought I would do is leave a gap and then make sure that I create a little spot right here that I can go ahead, I think I'm gonna use that, and, uh, put a larger embellishment right there with the idea that I can go ahead and do a little journaling there. Now, the reason I'm using this piece right here with the tire tread on it is my son brought his remote control car that he received for his birthday and he was driving it around the landscaping at his girlfriend's house. So that's why I thought tire tread would be good. Nobody else probably knows that, but I know that. Now, did I just hit this or not for my photo or is it flush it is flush it just looks a little bit weird to my eye because the paper is going a little bit wonky but that's on purpose so that's fine so now what I have to do is find a way to get my title on any and all of these great little stickers I came up with and take you along for the ride I think I'm going to work on the placement and I'll be right back I've gone ahead and started placing some little bits down and I'm going to start doing that with you. Now, I'm trying not to worry about being too precious about it. I'm just going to get some of these things down, but I do want a lot of my pieces squared off. So with that in mind, the T-square ruler is going to be hopping back and forth in here. I want to layer, but still make it have lots of fun movement. Before I go too far though, I've got to get my title in. So let's see where, I think I can run it right across the top. So let me go ahead and get this piece in so it can layer across there as well. Can't have it on that layer or that layer. I think I have to have it about there. I couldn't have it on the layer in between because they were both kind of like that off-white. You wouldn't have seen anything. A lot wouldn't help. So this is just kind of a little bannery piece. Let me square off the rest of these. Now, I like when I have a little bit wonky, but not all of it. Like, for example, the photo itself is not on an angle. I think recently I did one with a photo on an angle, and it's actually a little weird for me. Okay, so I have that there. I love this, how you doing, like Joey Tribbiani. So let's get that. Make sure that gets squared off. Oh, and like this uh, large teal star that is right here. This is punched out as well. And this kept sticking to things, this little foam square. So I went ahead and just stuck it on the back and thought we would roll with this since it seemed to really want to be a part of the party. So, okay, is that enough for me to get the young and free on there real quick? Or do we want to get a couple more little things tucked in? I think maybe we should tuck a little bit under really quick. Now, I know that this does not say 4th of July on it, per se, but I will be writing that into the um, little journaling box I have. Okay, so that is squared, and let's get a blue one. I was actually trying to concentrate on a lot of the red and blue. It's just that I am so enamored with this Bro & Co. <laughs> that a lot of it is showing. That's how it is. 
Now let me get this yellow one as well. So we did get the entire embellishment pack with this kit, so I'm kind of enjoying it. Now let's make sure that I can square this. I'm gonna put the Young and the Free in there. I don't know if I'm gonna need liquid adhesive or not, but if I do, I'll do that before I come back. Okay, so now I feel like I have enough going on there. I'll get my title on, be right back. All right, so I have my title on there. I didn't need extra adhesive, and now I am really just starting to build out these little cluster bits. And it's just gonna be a matter of fitting as many of these fun little die cut pieces and stickers and stars that I punched out on there. And it's fun. I mean, this, oh, by the way, this A-N-D are just from my stash. I brought them in, they're from Doodlebug Designs because I needed something little and not super noticeable, but you know, that would go. So I have this chill. I like the totally legit. I like how you doing. I like you rock. I like the idea of chill, maybe like that. Okay. Yeah. So this is how, you know, intensive the thought process is going right now. It's just popping it all on. Cause you see here in my little off the board challenge piece, that it's just fun. There is a lot of fun to be had on this one. I think I'm gonna put this piece, ew, no, 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 let's see. All right, so I know that that's good. Maybe if I have this go under here a tiny bit. So I always wanna make sure I don't have trap space because it will keep drawing my eye and bugging me so much if I do. So let's get you rock under there a little bit more because I want to hide that little tag piece. I don't really want to have to put a string through it right now. Just didn't want to. Let's see, I have your the goat I still like. Let's see what else I have on my stars here. I like this little energy drink considering. I think if I can pop that up just on a little foam, that would be fun. So yeah, that's what I have going on with this one. Now make sure to go check out Moira's channel to see her big giveaway for her thousand subby celebration. I think that's so awesome. She is exceedingly talented, a prolific scrapbooker, and she has had such an interesting life. She even had a published cookbook at one point, which I thought was ever so nifty. All right, that's there, which means I have to come up with something there. I was planning some journaling there, so I should get the journaling in before things get too far. It's kind of funny that the awesome has like the speech bubble going that way. I don't want awesome awesome. Maybe that's just mm. going to wait for another day. That's going to back on the sticker sheet. I like it, but it's slightly redundant. Okay, so let me get my journaling on and then I have to figure out like where I want to get oh I can just pop that right there that's pleasant enough yeah so just getting the rest of these stars on here and I'm going to look at the wood veneer the enamel dots and I'll be back in a minute all right my friends I'm just going to finish this off with a few enamel dots clearly there's a lot going on it does not <laughs> need anything but I shall put enamel dots on because I like the difference in texture. So I think I need a little bit of red here. So let's, should I put a big one? I'll connect to that. Then I will get up in, we're going to call this a cluster, a red there. Some form of a little bit of red over here. Next, let's bring in this really great teal color. So it looks like I could use some there in that gap. How about bringing some in where this one is? And we'll get a little one right there on that seam. And what other color do you think works the best for this? Probably the deeper blue. Okay. So since we have acknowledged that, a navy there. Let's get a medium navy here so we have the one two three and then one two we need a large navy one two three all right 
that is going to complete this layout. I am loving it. I had so many pieces to pick from that I know I have lots and lots of other layouts coming from this kit. But in the meantime, once again, go over to Maura's chan uh, channel and down below I'll have links for everybody else that is involved in this fun collab as well as the off the board links for the people who are creating using off the board today. All right, that's it my friends. See you later, bye.